Premier Chen Jianren and his cabinet will remain in their posts until May 20th, as requested by President Tsai Ing-wen. In Taiwan, it is customary for the premier and cabinet officials to resign en masse after the general elections, before the new cohort of lawmakers assume office. But this time around, the resignation request was turned down by Tsai. Lawmakers are divided on the decision. It's just past 8 a.m. and Premier Chen Jianren reaches the executive yuan. With the 2024 general election over, elected lawmakers will take their posts on February 1st. As is customary, the Premier and Cabinet on Thursday tendered the resignations ahead of the new legislative yuan. Based on our country's constitutional customs and out of respect for the new president, the new legislative yuan and the general public, I have already tendered my resignation to President Tsai Ing-wen. Chen had already spoken with Tsai about resigning right after the election, but Tsai rejected it, asking Chen and all cabinet members to stay in their posts until Lai Qingde's inauguration as president on May 20th. Now, we are a caretaker cabinet. Until the heads of each ministry and agency are appointed and the president and vice president are inaugurated, we must stick to our posts and continue handling government affairs. Chen will stay on his post until the last executive meeting before May 20th, when he will lead his cabinet to resign en masse and take a group photo. Lawmakers are divided on whether that's the best approach. Nearly 60 percent of the people expressed their dissatisfaction with the Tsai administration in this past election. It is unnecessary to keep Chen Jianren's cabinet at their posts. It goes against public opinion. Chen Zhenren's performance in 2023 can be said to have been extremely good because Taiwan made more than 3 trillion NT in tax income. That's the highest figure ever. Tsai Ing-wen asking him to stay on as premier until at least May 20th is the right decision, I think. The DPP touted its achievements over the past eight years while praising Chen's performance as premier. Tsai and Chen will leave the government together, much as they entered together as president and VP in 2020. Now, speculation is rife with who Lai will appoint as premier. Rumored candidates include former culture minister Zheng Lijun, presidential office secretary general Lin Jialong, academia Seneca academician Cyrus Chu, and lighting the campaign office head Pan Mong An. Of course, we support Chen Jianren staying on as a premier for another term. In order to keep balance among factions, I think Ling Jialong may not be the right fit for the situation. Very few people dislike Zheng Lijun, and she doesn't quite align with any of the party factions. Perhaps she may become Taiwan's first female premier. If Lai Qingde wants to show some good will to the opposition, perhaps he could pick Cyrus Chu. Lawmakers in the DPP and KMT have very different opinions on who would be a good fit to head the cabinet under the Lai administration.